All right, so check it out. Now to make bone marrow, usually you're gonna get marrow bones um, cut in center style like this. So just basically it's like the femur cut um, just in little sections. And so you've got inside in the middle, you've got the marrow. You can also get them cut canoe style, which is lengthwise, which makes it a little bit easier to access. But a lot of times when you're ordering marrow bones from places that do it ahead of time, they're gonna come like this. But either way, um, what I like to do is take a slow cooker and then put a grate in the slow cooker. I'm using my Instant Pot grate here. And then I'm just stacking the marrow bones so that the marrow has a chance to drip out into the bottom of the uh, slow cooker. Now, once they've cooked long enough that it looks like they're brown and cooked on the inside, then I'm gonna take a oven glove, like a heat safe glove, and I'm gonna take a butter knife, and then I'm just gonna try to scrape as much of that goodness out as I can. And you'll notice it kind of just explodes out um, but, but you want to take your time and get every last drop of this out. And you'll see sometimes you'll have a little bit of pink that comes out, which is why I like to have it put into the bottom of the slow cooker so that that pink, um, we can just barely cook it until it's cooked through. And then we have ourselves some really good bone marrow to use uh, for future. So, um, so you see here, I'm just, you know, taking the knife, trying to get as much of it out as I can and, um, and then letting the marrow fall into the bottom of the slow cooker. Now, allow me to talk briefly about the benefits of consuming bone marrow. Bone marrow is where the body um, buffers acidity and alkalinity using minerals, so it's full of minerals. It's also full of the healthful fats um, that are used to anti-inflame the body, so it's great for anti-inflammation. Um, it's where the body initiates a lot of the rebuilding and remodeling of bone tissue and cartilage. So it's this nutrient dense, um, you know, substance that has healing benefits and transformative benefits. And so consuming it is just, it's a no brainer. Now what you notice here is as I finish um, getting all the marrow out of the bones that I can, I put the bones back on the uh, grate or the tray there. And then I let it cook just for a little bit longer to make sure that the pink is just barely cooked out of the marrow that's down in the bottom of the slow cooker. But then also it gives it a chance, um, this extra cooking time to, to get every last drop of bone marrow out of these bones. All right, so now what you wanna do is take the grate out with the bones and set those bones aside. You can use them for stock if you want to later. They're not the best for stock. Um, then you wanna take a glass dish and you wanna pour the bone marrow into this glass dish. And this stuff is so valuable, I highly recommend getting um, a spatula or something to just make sure that you get every bit of it out. All right, and then you have yourself some golden marrow. Um, you can add a little bit of seasoning to it if you want. I like to add just a little bit of salt and pepper to pre-season it. And then I mix that up really well. And I just look at it and I smell it and I taste it and it is so, freaking good and then what I'll do with this marrow is um, every morning when I make my bone stock I'll take a spoonful of it um, because I heat my bone stock up in a saucepan for the day um, I'll take a spoonful of it and put it in my bone stock and then just let it melt in the bone stock and I get to drink it with my bone stock but you can also take a chunk of it and put it on uh, finished dishes uh, like a pat of butter and just let it melt into it and consume it